All right, guys, as we getting ready to head out on the Big Papa, if you're new here, this is our 100-year anniversary fat boy, better known as Big Papa. Oh, James Gregory, James Gregory, sorry, uh, passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, of course, James Gregory it was a famous Southern comedian. Uh, I was a huge fan, but... This leads me to a question that I have to ask Ray Gregory, who has a channel on YouTube called Ray Gregory Rides. Uh, he is family to James Gregory. So I have to ask Ray, since you're on YouTube making content, I can only assume that you are not the cousin that got caught up in the hay baler. I have to ask, was that true? Did that really happen? Did y'all have a cousin that got caught up in a hay baler? So let's ride. Let's talk about a few things because we're going to have to discuss a few things about what's going on on these channels, especially mine. But let's get on the road. Alright guys, welcome to this episode of Rolling with T-Bone. If you're new here and if you are new here and you just found us this is the first time you're ever witnessing i always say if you're new here welcome in thanks for watching if you are new here don't hit the subscribe button just with this video what i would like for you to do is to take a few minutes watch this video go watch some of my other videos a couple other videos maybe and if I'm right for you, then hit the subscribe button and comment on whatever video you watched that made you want to subscribe to my channel. Comment below, I subscribed here. That way I kind of know what content draws subscriptions in. And even if you are old here and you've been around for a while, if you can remember the video you watched that made you say, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to subscribe to this guy and follow him because I think we're up to like 538 or something like that subscribers. Uh, I'm just curious. So if you would do that for me, that would be awesome. So now with that said, I'll go into my regular spiel. My name's T-Bone. I shoot motorcycle related content and any kind of content really. If you're new here, welcome in. Check out a few of my videos. Please take my advice on that. And if you think I'm right for you, maybe have it, consider hitting the subscribe button, giving us a like, share, comment, and uh, become a part of the Rolling with T-Bone crew. If you know here, new, old here, I, I'll get my English right here in a little bit. If you're old here, welcome back. You know what's going on as we roll out on Big Papa. Uh, I'm not sure what the thumbnail on this video is going to say, but it kind of stems back to a uh, comment that was left on one of my videos. Uh, and I think I need to explain my situation with YouTube just a little bit more in depth. And what I mean by that is, uh, the comment said, this is awful. And it was, uh, it wasn't the Elvis video. It may have been the video before that. Uh, you know, it, it's awful to somebody who don't like what I'm saying. But here's my, kind of my idea about this. And this is just me coming from my perspective. I'm not really seeking anyone's approval to do this. Uh, I'm doing this as a diary for my kids to go back, grandkids maybe someday, watch these videos and say, hey, that's what my dad or my granddad used to do. Uh, and maybe inspire them to be creative in their life. And if I happen to inspire somebody else out there who becomes a subscriber of my channel, that's great, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, the negative comments don't really bother me because if it's too bad negative, I'll just simply delete it and block you from my channel. Nobody will ever get to see your comment, so you're just wasting your time. Uh, because I'm gonna keep my channel positive. 
even if I don't have anything positive to talk about, I'm going to figure out how to keep my channel a positive channel. I don't want to go off into these wormholes of negativity all the time uh, about, well, this person don't like what I said or this person don't like my videos. I really don't care if you like my videos or not. And that's just me being honest, and I've been saying that from day one. If you don't like my content, hey, that's great. I am not for everyone, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm very open about that. At the opening of all my videos, I will say, before you hit the subscribe button, go check out a few of my other videos and make sure I'm right for you. Because I may have said something in a past video that you just can't get on with. Or I may have said something in a past video that you were like, okay, maybe I misunderstood this guy in that video. Maybe I will subscribe to him. So, I, you know, how you can determine in the first 60 seconds of a video if you're going to want to subscribe to a person or not, I, I don't understand that. I usually give everybody the benefit of the doubt, and I'll watch a couple, two or three videos. And then if it's just not interesting to me or I think that they're, uh, you know, they're not along the same line of my thinking and I think that I'm going to be constantly at odds with them, I just won't subscribe to their channel. But I don't try to make that determination in the first 30 seconds or the first 60 seconds of a video. Because let's just face it, guys, we all have off days. We all have days where, you know, is it, are, are we having a good day? Is it going to come across on camera that, yay, we're just excited about everything? Or are we tired? We're adults. We got things to do. We got jobs to work. And yeah, sometimes that comes across on the camera that you can tell someone is tired. Someone's had a long day and, you know, they're just inviting you to come along, even if it's just for the scenery. Uh, you know, people are human beings. That's, you know, that's the human factor. You can't remove that factor and be a robot. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want. If somebody said to me, T-Bone, we will replace your brain with a circuit. And you won't never have to worry about any pain, any bad emotions, any bad feelings. You will walk around happy and go lucky all the time. I would say, no thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, because that's not real. That's not life. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent, not important, super important. Life is life. Life is what teaches us to be the people that we are. Over the course of a lifetime, I'll be 47 years old in August. Over the course of my life, ups and downs, highs and lows, good, bad, bad, really bad, really, really good, all that has shaped who I am today sitting here talking to you on this camera, riding my motorcycle down the road. Every bit of that stuff is a factor. So in the YouTube universe, you have to understand that you're dealing with humans. You're not, you know, you want to go watch AI videos? Cool, I do. I watch these uh, uh, hidden camera, hidden trail cam videos, and they always got an AI bot talking. I don't really pay attention to the fact that it's AI bot talking. I just watch the videos and enjoy the content. You know, that crazy trail camera that picked up something that don't really look like a wolf, but it ain't a coyote either. You know, like, that stuff fascinates me. But, you know, that's just... It's the human factor, and I don't ever want to remove, remove the, see, like talking. Talking is a very, <laughs> we don't do it well sometimes, but I don't want to remove the human factor from my channel. This is me. This is, you know, good, bad, indifferent, love me, hate me, tolerate me, or eh. I, this is me. This is who I am. This is who I am all the time. I don't want to be fake. I'm not going to be fake. But I tell you what, let me get over here and put some fuel. I don't even know where I'm going. I have it set out with a destination. Uh, this could be a short video. This could be a too long video that I have to cut into two parts. I just don't know because I just don't know. I do know I got grass to cut today when I get home. But let me roll up over here and get uh, some fuel, put in Big Papa here, and then we will get back on the road. All right, guys, we got us some fuel, a little old petrol ain't I? Right, so <coughs> all of that rambling that I was just now doing leads into a question. And it's this question can have a universal answer. 
but mostly this question will be individualistic and the question being is doing this worth it is making youtube videos putting them out is it worth it uh you know you really have to kind of break that question down as to what kind of answers you're going to get because nobody's going to have the exact same answer and it kind of all stems from what are you why are you doing it what are you doing it for what are you expecting from it uh you know as a person who is a entrepreneur wanting to make money wanting to quit their day job uh try to get enough followers try to get enough uh views to where they can make money and not have to work a regular job uh then you know it, it's still hard to say yes it's worth it even in that scenario because you then have to wonder how fast is it going on? Uh, how fast are you growing? Are you getting the likes, the shares? Uh, are you getting the subscriptions that you need uh, to have it be a business? So I mean, there's a lot of factors, but you know is it worth it well if you're getting what you want out of it then in that situation absolutely it's worth it uh, you know we tend to look at it being bikers and riders of motorcycles motorcycle enthusiasts we tend to look at it through the eyes of a moto walker and of course we all know youtube is not that uh it's not that one dimensional uh there's all kind of different kinds of content creators but then you move into uh not the person trying to do it for money they're just out sharing their adventures and you know hoping that you really enjoy their content uh, you know as long as they're happy with the product that they put out then it's absolutely going to be worth it for them but you know then you have to look at the person who just really don't know what they're doing which is me most of the time I just I'm trying to leave a record behind you know make my little mark uh, you know I'm not no big deal I don't aspire to be no big deal uh, I just want to have fun riding my motorcycle. I actually enjoy making these videos. I enjoy doing content. Uh, now, does that always mean that I've got great topics to talk about? No. Does it mean that uh, I'm going to hit a home run every time I put a video out? Absolutely not. But again, that kind of leads back to what I said a few minutes ago. We're not seeking anyone's approval to do this. We're just doing it. Uh, like Nine Mills on Two Wheels. Uh, Nine Mills has got a segment in his videos that I really enjoy. <coughs> and he calls it Famous Women I'd Like to Date. So I came up with my own segment. <laughs> and it's going to be a little bit different. A lot different actually. It's going to be this episode's famous woman that my wife won't let me date. And today's famous woman that my wife will not let me date is going to be Dana De Lorenzo. Now, some of y'all may recognize that name. Uh, if you ever watched The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, she played uh, Beth, the CBS executive. Uh, she's known for impressions, but... Her most famous role came from a television series called Ash vs. the Evil Dead. And uh, she just seems like an interesting person, guys. She seems like, uh, you know, you can kind of watch these uh, different uh, celebrities have interviews and they kind of strike you in that interview that they're a little bit fake or they're really misrepresenting themselves or they're just really wanting to get it over with. Uh, Dana De Lorenzo just seems like 
she's just being herself doing her thing and that's so cute and of course i think she is a beautiful girl be a woman she ain't a girl she's a woman i think she's very beautiful uh you know she uh has strong uh uh italian background but yeah that's today's famous woman my wife won't let me date <laughs> Oh God! You know, I just try to have fun with it, guys. I, you know, I really don't know. I, I, I have no clue how to do this. I don't think there is a blueprint on how to do this because I have seen videos that say how to be a success on YouTube, and all of the stuff that they talk about doing on YouTube to become a success at YouTube really seems complicated to me i just you know I, I don't know i just it really just seems complicated to me and i you know you you start seeing these people lose their self in trying to become youtube famous if that makes sense so let's see what the tennessee department of transportation is working on they got them little red lights out in the middle of nowhere maintain oh wow that cut the bank off right there they're gonna extend the uh, widen the road through here put a new bridge in well alrighty then cool i wish they'd spend some more money on the roads and pavement uh that base road or four lane coming from ducktown to copper hill is worn back down to the original base so I'll not be coming back this way, hopefully. Have to remember that's there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, guys, you know, none of us have the quote unquote magic formula for this. You know, but again, it kind of goes back to what I've said before and in, you know, other videos I've said, we all offer something different. There's something different for everyone to enjoy on YouTube. You know, there's videos doing what I'm doing, just riding around talking into the camera. And people appreciate it because, like Slick Head Custom said, and go check out Slick Head Custom Cycles, check out, check out Hippie's Chopper Corner, uh, Recycle Hoogan, Flippin' the Blue Mule, Moto Bomb, Virginia, Neil M. All, all these people I'm going to forget to mention. Uh, but like Slick Head Custom said, you know, what you do is hard and I, it don't seem hard to me but I can imagine you know that this would freak somebody out trying to ride a motorcycle while they're trying to talk into a camera and basically talk to people who aren't there but they are there that may be where that split personality thing comes in handy at so. <laughs> oh my god i had one aunt and I, I don't i don't know if i should tell this or not but i will uh i had one aunt my mom's sister uh just one of, she was a wild wild woman uh loved her to death but if you asked her who i was she would just flat out tell you i was satan <laughs> Uh, the, the young T-bone was a little rough around the edges. <laughs> I was at this fine polished mess that I am today. I, <laughs> I used to be worse. <laughs> but, you know, there's there's different things being offered. You got guys like Flip, uh, Flip and the Blue Mule. You know, Flip just rides and shoots a little content in his local area and has a blast doing it, and we enjoy his videos. Uh, Recycled Hooligan, who is the patriarch of this clan of ours. Uh, you know, the Hooligan, he, he's doing a lot of, he's doing a lot of historical stuff around Fort Payne, Alabama, and I absolutely love that. I love historical stuff. Uh, and then you got guys like uh, Slickhead Custom Cyclists, Flip, uh, you know, uh, Hippie's Chopper Corner. Those guys are just working on motorcycles, living their best life, and Hippie is building an Evo Chopper right now that's going to be to catch me out. Wait and see what i tell you. You know, Slickhead, he's into them old school Harley Davidsons, the old flatheads and uh, slap side shovel heads. And, you know, he's just living his best life, doing what he loves. So then you got another channel called Ride to Food. And this young lady just rides across the country showing you great places to eat. And then you got guys like Shade Tree Surgeon who's about trying to help out uh, 
his local community and the uh, kids in the, coming out of the foster care system, which we're all kind of involved in that. If you'll notice in this corner, I usually always have the Forgotten Angels logo. If you're new here and you don't know that logo, go Google it. Uh, go to ForgottenAngels.org slash Tampa. It's a... It, it's a... Uh, It's not really a compound, but it's a place set up where uh, a lady named Cindy and her husband David tried to help kids who have aged out in the foster care system. And they're not just trying to help them, they're trying to teach them life's basic tasks like tying their shoes, brushing their teeth properly, combing their hair. So go check out Forgotten Angels. Uh, and if you can donate a little bit of money or want to buy a raffle ticket for a chance to win a motorcycle for 25 bucks, it'll tell you how to do it there. But, you know, we all offer something different. We're all doing something different. And uh, another one of the channels, uh, uh, Dave's channel over in Australia and Hippie Trev over in Australia. Man, I love looking at the scenery that those guys are riding. Uh, especially Dave's channel because Dave's got him a setup with his camera right behind the headlight and he's just cruising down the roads out in the bush over in Australia and I love looking at that scenery it's just awesome but you know he had a hater comment that he kind of that's kind of uh, it's kind of inspiring him to uh, you know he, he's going to lean into it He's not going back away and go, oh, somebody don't like me. No, D Dave's going to lean into it. He's going to keep his content out. and You know, he might switch things up a little bit, but I enjoy Dave's content. <coughs> I love the views from the rides he takes. So, in the grand scheme of things, is it worth it? Well, you have to ask other questions, too. It can't just be, is it worth it? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Meaning, do you enjoy the content that you're doing? Do you enjoy standing behind the camera and talking or sitting on a motorcycle or working on a motorcycle? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Does it bring you happiness? Or is it one of them things that you kind of started doing that you didn't really have a whole lot of passion about, but people started subscribing to you and all of a sudden you know you're now doing it just to be doing it and I do get that feeling from some content creators that they're just doing it now just to be doing it uh, but if you are enjoying it and you love what you're doing and you love the community see and that's another thing too is you got to add in our community we got a core group in our community that no matter what they're going to turn up for each other we turn up uh, for each other's premieres. You know, we're always shouting each other out in videos and in the comment sections. We carry on our own conversations in the comment sections. But that's our community. You know, Recycle Hooligan, Flippin' the Blue Mule, me, uh, Moto Bomb Virginia, Sick Bastard, uh, you know, Julie Smith, Neil M, uh, Ricochet will show up sometimes. Uh, you know, Georgia Hillbilly, which Georgia Hillbilly is, uh, as I'm talking to you right now filming this, Georgia Hillbilly is in the Grand Canyon. But, you know, Tony, Tony Munkets from Mountain Vegas, we've got a core group of people that show up, you know, Rainy Ryder, Ryder uh, Diana Pillion style. If Diana knows about the premiere or is not busy, she'll come in. We've got a good core group of people who, what's up brothers? Wave at me, dang you. There you go. We've got a core group of brothers and sisters who show up for each other and we have built a fantastic little community. And uh, so is it worth it? Yes. For me, it's absolutely worth it. Because not, not only am I leaving my footprint behind in video form, a record for those to see know that when I'm out here riding my motorcycle it's if you're riding your motorcycle first off it's never a bad day whether you're doing this or not it's never a bad day but I, I enjoy talking I enjoy putting my thoughts out there you know I kind of 
that kind of takes me back to the uh, first time I ever saw a moto vlog, which was, of course, Shade Tree Surgeon. Uh, I had thought about it, how cool it would be to be able to do something like this back in the 90s, but, <clears throat> you know, who's going to be carrying a big camcorder around all the time trying to do that, trying not to drop it off the motorcycle, but... I had always watched motorcycle content on YouTube, but just one day, randomly, this guy named Shade Tree Surgeon popped up on my channel, and I was like, okay. Well, I started watching him, and he was motovlogging. He was doing what I'm doing right now, and I was like, that's cool. But then I started listening to what he was talking about. He spoke with common sense, and I was like, yeah. See, that's a way to get your, you know, that's a way to use your platform just to get out your ideals, get out your thoughts on stuff. And like-minded individuals will be drawn to that. Have a common sense view of things. And that's what I try to do. Like, uh, you know, a couple videos back I put out about ego. Uh, I, I certainly have no ego about this. I'm not trying to be bigger than the next YouTube channel. I'm not trying to get more views than the next YouTube channel. I'm not trying to be anything other than just a guy riding a motorcycle. You know, and... Because, I, they're, they're, and, and I mentioned this, and, uh, you know, Hooligan knew who I was talking about immediately. The, the ego, <clears throat> you put the ego in this thing, and that automatically turns people off. People don't want to watch some guy just riding around with an ego as big as the all outdoors thinking that he's better than everybody else. Teleco or, or uh, I think I'll just keep going out toward Hawassi. But yeah, you know and Flip, I know I'm riding into your area brother, but this is a scheduled ride and I'm sorry, I couldn't reach out to you. <laughs> but when, me and Flip are going to get together and shoot some videos together hopefully this summer and uh, cross, cross the streams. But uh, this was just a very much, uh, I got a certain amount of time to do a ride, and I wanted to get out and do a ride. So sorry about that. But anyway, back to uh, the nonsense that I was rambling about. You good, brother? All right. Yeah, thumbs up. Cool. Brother getting him a drink of water on the side of the road. Nice looking heritage. Good looking heritage soft tail. You know, I shot him the thumbs up. He thumbs up me back that he's all good, so he's all good. But anyway, uh, squirrel, I got lost. Man, I got really lost that time. But yeah, just rambling out, man. I, you know, it's, uh, is it worth it? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, you know, and then that kind of comes back to the original part where in the opening of this video, I was talking about people leaving comments. Uh, I'm not here for your negativity. I'm not going to let your negativity creep into my comment section or creep into my videos and You know start Ruining what it is that I'm trying to do Because I you know, this is positive. I won't I won't positive for this and uh, That makes it worth it for me. You know what I mean? but as I cross out of uh, Tennessee into North Carolina, we're crossing the state line. Beautiful country out in here, guys. This is 294. Y'all have seen this in uh, videos before. 294 is not a new road to the channel. <coughs> Excuse me. I just swallowed a bunch of pollen right there, I think. Yeah, goodness. But anyway, the last time I was on this road, uh, I, was, I think I was on the Sports for Copper. Candy Mountain Road. I've never ridden out that road before. I don't know if it goes all the way through to the four lane or if it goes out there and it dead ends. Maybe I'll come back and check that out. Future T-Bone right there on Candy Mountain Road, North Carolina. Then don't be lazy, write it down. But, uh, Yeah, man, I mean, that's just a, it, it's a good question, but it's a question that you got to be able to answer for yourself. And, you know, it's not going to be a matter of, yes, it's worth it, no, it's not worth it. 
some people are going to fall in between as to man i really love doing it but it really does eat up a lot of my time it doesn't leave me time to do much of anything else so you know uh moto bomb virginia last saturday put out a video kind of showing his editing style the way he does things and i sat there and i was watching that and i was like there's no way i would ever get a video out trying to edit like moto bomb does but he does great videos and the quality's there in the editing because it shows in the video but i was sitting there watching him thinking you know he's had music and effects and he's transitioning between cameras and i'm like I put a camera right there, sometimes it drives me crazy, just with two cameras. I could not imagine, I could not imagine trying to sit down and do an extensive editing job like he does and like others do. I just don't have that kind of time to do it. Well, I could, but I would start getting frustrated with doing this and I would lose interest in it because I know me. I don't want to have to focus on things too much. Uh, because once you start focusing on other things, you forget about the important things like riding your motorcycle. <laughs> but go check out Moto Bomb's channel. He's got a good channel. He really does. He shoots at uh, evening and morning and evening commute to work and back. He, uh, he's a tattoo artist. It gets a little wild on there sometimes. Guys, we got off to 294, got over on the Spur 60 here. Yeah, you know, I know this video is getting a little long in the tooth, but we offer something different, and, and I think that's kind of one of the main things that I try to represent in my videos and the content creators that I watch. We all offer something totally different. Uh, you know, like Egghead Rocks is in southern Alabama. He offers a different perspective. Buck Brown. Uh, go check out Egghead Rock and Buck Brown's channel. But Buck's down to around Valdosta. Uh, of course, Cousin Daddy is in Alabama. And Blue Bike and Dole and Her Three Wheels. Go check all them guys out. Tell them T-Bone sent you. Uh, you know, up here in the mountains, you got... Recycle Hooligan offering you the uh, mountains of Alabama. Uh, you got me and Flip and the Blue Mule and Georgia Hillbilly. We're all three kind of right here in the same area. But again, we all offer different perspectives. And then you got Hippie Chopper Corner in Middle Tennessee and you got Slickhead Custom Cycles in New Jersey. Uh, you know, you got uh, Loose Juice and, uh, way up in Michigan, Detroit. I'm not sure Michigan, but I think Detroit's where he lives. And then you got the Ohio crew. You got uh, nothing at random. You got Her Two Wheels, uh, Jordan Ray. Uh, the, we're all across this portion of the United States. And then we got Jasmine Time, number 470. Jasmine is in California. And like I said earlier, Tony Munkins, he's in uh, Las Vegas. You know, we're hoping Tony Munkins actually uh, <coughs> start shooting some moto vlogs himself here soon. I would love to see some of them cool canyons and stuff out there in the desert around that area. Uh, Tony's got a sportster. Love to see Tony be able to get a camera hook up and then take us and show us around his home. Uh, that, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Because that's what I like. Like, you know... Uh, Blue Bike and Doyle, uh, you know, he's kind of like me. He leaves out of his driveway, he's already recording, and he picks the direction it goes. Her three wheels, his wife. You know, I love seeing those areas because a lot of the areas I know, and it's been a while since I've been to them, like, we all offer something different. And I think that's what makes all of us as vloggers, not just photo vloggers, but as vloggers, uh, I think that's what makes all of us so unique. You know, Randy Ryder, he uh, he interviews uh, a lot of moto vloggers and people that are in the motorcycle world. So he offers something totally different. But he also moto vlogs. Uh, you know, Julie Smith. Julie is always in our premieres. 
Uh, hopefully soon, Julie will be able to moto vlog and put us some content out so we can see where she's at in the world. But, you know, it kind of goes back to that old thing Josh, Shade Tree Circus said, and this has been a few years back when he first started uh, flying across the country and riding sketchy motorcycles back to Florida. You know, he talked about how much smaller YouTube made the world. And, and it has. It really has. Uh, you know, uh, every, every person who rides a motorcycle is going to have some kind of advice for new riders. Uh, my advice is just ride within your limit and have fun doing it. Because if you're not sitting on your... You know, I don't care if it's in the rain, if you got caught in a hailstorm, or if it's like it is right now, beautiful in 75. If you're not enjoying sitting here behind the bars and looking out at what God's created, then maybe motorcycling is not for you. Maybe, you know, I, because, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not going to pinpoint any kind of moto vlogger, but there's a, a couple of channels that I watch. And they don't put out a ton of content, but it just kind of seems to me like she, she only rides motorcycles to shoot content. Like, if she doesn't put out a video for a while, she'll, so when she puts out a video, she'll say, oh guys, it's been, uh, nine weeks since I put out a video. Sorry about how long it's been. And then she'll say, man, I hope my mic will crank because it's been nine weeks since I fired up my motorcycle. And it's like, okay, are you just riding your motorcycle to shoot content? I mean, it's cool that you're doing that, but, you know, it just kind of seems to me like there's some out there, uh, again, like I said before, who did this and they was kind of half-hearted about it and then they started getting you know subscribers and people started uh contacting them and reaching out to them and then that will they were like okay well now we can't just walk away from it but you know that's uh that's kind of one of those things guys uh, you know we all do this differently we all do it for different reasons and i think not just geographically where we're located, but our reasons for doing this kind of falls into the, that's what makes our channels unique. But, you know, that's just me. I could be just rambling on about nothing. But guys, I know this video is getting a little bit long in the tooth here. But as I get ready to turn on the hard to gravel road here, I've got to get close to bringing my ride to an end, which I've had a great ride. This has been fun. Uh, I got to go home and do adult stuff like mow my grass. <laughs> but yeah, you know, just enjoy life. Don't do this just because somebody expects you to do it. Ride motorcycles because it's what you absolutely love to do. Uh, you know, it kind of circles back, of course, to the question I asked earlier in the video, is it worth it? If you're not getting a resounding yes, it's worth it. If you ask yourself, if, is this right here, me doing this, am I really having fun with it? Do I really enjoy doing it? If you don't get a resounding yes, you enjoy doing this, this is what you love to do then it's going to come across in the videos that you aren't really having a good time and you're just shooting content for the, you know, for the point of shooting content. And that's cool in some situations, but, you know, I love to see people's enthusiasm when they're riding through their area or they're exploring a whole new area. And I'm excited to see what Georgia Hillbilly comes back with from his, uh, across the uh, country trip to uh, Washington and back. You know, he, he had told me he got him a GoPro, so I know at some point he will eventually be able to get his stuff uploaded, but 
he's been sending me the pictures and I've been sharing them with y'all and thanks for the response on that guys that's really cool we're showing the hillbilly that all of us around here love him and we want him to be safe on his trip we want him back in one piece uh, I know he had to stop in at the Harley Davidson uh, around the Grand Canyon area it might have even been called Grand Canyon Harley Davidson uh, his bearing his uh, inner primary bearing had started making noise or loosened up or something so he had to swing in but they were able to get that changed out for him real quick and he was back on the road back underway so the journey continued on so hopefully that's the only gremlin in in the bike was maybe just a wore out bearing that he'd be changing and maybe the rest of the trip will go good but i tell you what guys this video is really getting long in the tooth so i hear you go slickhead a long video for you brother <laughs> but i tell you what guys i'm gonna cut y'all off here i'm gonna lay it down y'all been down hard scrabble this ain't nothing new but i'm just gonna lay it down and tell y'all i appreciate y'all coming along with me and remember to like share comment subscribe do all that cool stuff that the uh youtuber algorithm godders love and uh just remember Enjoy life, man. Love living. Just love living. But guys, until the next time, I'm T-Bone. This has been Rolling with T-Bone. Y'all remember, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And hey, thanks for watching.